At the end of last week, a Metropolitan Police Constable faced a misconduct hearing after he was found guilty of stalking and suggesting his now former partner become a hooker. Although making that suggestion isn't exactly a criminal offence. 44-year-old Jonathan Simon's behaviour was allegedly so bad that it caused his former partner to move home in order to get away from him. Simons is said to have carried out his stalking during a six-month period, lasting from October 2021 to July 2022, following the termination of his relationship by turning up unannounced outside her home with what seems to be the first indication of his stalkerish behaviour occurring even before the end of the relationship in August 2021, when he turned up at her home and then her work to tell her that one of her windows was unsecured in an attempt to talk to her. He's also said to have left messages and voicemails for the woman, even after she had explicitly told him not to contact her anymore. Interestingly, Simons is said to have struck up the relationship with the woman following a call out to an incident whilst he was on duty in May 2021 to a neighbour dispute. Simon was found guilty of stalking after attending Westminster Magistrates Court in April, where he received a 16-week prison sentence. Suspended for two years, with 200 hours of community service and 25 days of rehab. And I know people, some people will compare this to Alex Belfield, the Ginger Winger, and the sentence that he received, but this is just one person, whereas Alex is said to have stalked multiple, although I wouldn't exactly call it stalking myself. But then again, the longer we allow the police and government to manipulate laws, the more of this kind of thing we're going to see. Jonathan Simon was also ordered to wear a tag and has been made subject to a restraining order. Due to the fact that he had been found guilty in a court, of course, a misconduct hearing was inevitable. That hearing was held at the end of last week, where the panel found that Simon's actions amounted to gross misconduct rather than just misconduct, and with that, handed him his P45 and showed him the door. Assistant Metropolitan Police Commissioner Barbara Gray said, This was very grave misconduct, which undermines public confidence in policing, as well as our reputation. That ship sailed long ago. The public could not have confidence in PC Simon after he has shown himself capable of behaving in such way. I know the public would not have confidence in the Metropolitan Police Service if we appeared not to take a criminal conviction arising from such behaviour seriously. But yet, of course, they are happy to let far worse behaviour from police go completely unchallenged, as in some cases, actually defending their behaviour, which, in my opinion, far overshadows the seriousness of this particular offence. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that stalking isn't a serious offence. We have seen where it can lead, if left unchecked. But there are far more serious, even potentially deadly incidents, which are either unchallenged by police or condoned in some cases and praised by them. So although this is one more cretin off the streets, there are some very dangerous people still patrolling the streets in disguise as police, but underneath it all are bullies and predators. But still, it's nice when we get to report that. Another one bites the dust. <laughs>